Hello there everybody, it's me again, Eve, and I will be continuing my What I Read in June 2023 video series, whatever, because I haven't been doing that, and I told myself I wouldn't post more videos of different kinds until I finish this, so I just gotta finish it in like the next few days, and stop procrastinating it. Anyway, the, first, the fifth book that I read in this month was Verona Comic by Jennifer Dugan. And I read this one because I just really need something to read. You see, the thing is, I read all my things on a digital library, which means almost like everything I read, I have to wait for it to get off hold. And the thing is, I really need to read something at this point. I was on vacation, and I picked this up because it was something that wasn't on hold. And this is why I always pick up, like, cheesy rom-coms, even though I don't really like them. <laughs> because they're always just not on hold. So, there's the thing. I don't really even like this genre. I just keep picking it up. That aside, this was fine. Side note, I've officially decided to stop ranking because it's just too stressful for me. So I will not be read reading this book on a scale of 1 to 5 stars. Or 0 to 5 stars, whatever. Instead, I'll just be talking about the book. Uh, Verona Comics is like this book about comics. <laughs> There's like, you know, it, it talks about top it. <laughs> okay. Basically, the this girl and this boy, they're teenagers, they meet at, like, this party that the boy's abusive dad is hosting, and the girl kind of left to as an escape from her stress, from the stress that she's putting on herself to do good for her, like, I forgot what she plays, it's been a few weeks, um, but her instrument recital, that she wants to get a scholarship to a camp and then a college, whatever. Uh, fine enough premise? Uh, yeah, uh, the boy, I forgot everyone's names, not because they were like forgettable or anything, they were fine characters. I'm just the worst with names, okay? And it's again been a few weeks. Um, but yeah, the boy's father is abusive. Uh, the girl's just kind of trying to get stress off her mind. He's kind of like doing a whole identity secret thingy, whatever, like pretending to be someone he's not. But you know, you kind of forgive him because it's because he's literally being abused. Um, oh, they're all, uh, like, queer, by the way. Like, there's plenty of, like, queer side characters, and both the main characters are queer. And what I did kind of like was that they, even though they were both, like, queer, when the boy was bisexual and the girl, like, didn't really know what she was, whatever, they were in a heterosexual relationship. I don't know, that was nice to see, I guess. And yet, Verona Comics was fine. If you like cheesy rom-com books, you should read it. If you don't, don't waste your time unless you really need something to read. Like I did, and it was fine. I don't know. Right after that, I read Percy Jackson and The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan. And later, you'll see the very last book I read this month was actually the fourth book. And I go much more in depth on what I kind of want to say in that, but in that reveal, in like I guess a few days or whatever, I'm recording it with my mom tonight. So I won't really, you know, bother with too much here. Basically, I think this book was better than the first than the first two. Uh, that's something, right? Granted, the first two were both pretty. They're, they're okay. They're pretty average books. Uh, don't hate me, don't kill me, don't come for me. I think Rick Riordan's a good author. I think he's, his characters are nice. Or they're well-developed and stuff, most of them. Uh, yeah, it, it's fine. I don't have any major complaints or anything. Yeah, I'll talk about it later in the fourth book review. For now, though, since I still have to kill some more time because this... I can't speed up my drawing recording anymore. Um, I will talk about what makes this book better than the others. Uh, I really like the Hunters and like Artemis and her team. They were nice. Uh, I love Thalia. Uh, she's just a really good character. And I'm glad she was in this one. Uh, let's see. What else? It was cool it took place in the winter, I guess. Uh, I really liked all the stuff with, like, I, this one was my favorite adventure out of all the other three so far. And I did enjoy, like, Bianca and Nico. 
And yeah, book three. Alright, and next to us, The School for Good and Evil, book one by Soman Shainani. I do not know if I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, I'm not really that part of this drawing, but I did really like this book. Uh, like, really, like, it was so, sweet. it was so, like, sweet at times, but also so, like, scary at others. I love pretty much all of the characters. Um, sans, like, this one character, but I won't say who it is, because spoiler reasons. Um, and, yeah, the world was really cool. It was, like, basically this girl, I think her name's Sophie and Agatha, again, I'm the worst of names. Uh, they won their best friends, and one of them is inherently good, and the other one's inherently evil, quote unquote. And they both want, and no, Sophie wants to go to the school and get for good and evil. Agatha doesn't, but they both get kidnapped and taken to the school. But Sophie, who really wants to be in the good department, gets put in the evil department, and Agatha, who was supposedly supposed to be in the evil department, gets put in the good department, and they just have to figure it out from there. And this is. This book is both, like, really sweet and really heart-wrenching at times. Because it's one of those books where you just really get attached to the relationships of the characters. And I both love it and hate it for that. And the ending was super sweet. Happy ending, all that. I don't think that's too much of a spoiler, saying happy ending is in a spoiler. And yeah, this was a really good book. Although, I do have to say something. I refuse to read the rest of the series. Why? Because for specific reason I accidentally saw some spoilers and basically based on the spoilers that I read and the summary for book two I'm just saying this is the end of the story because long story short I found out the entire story gets ruined <laughs> and I don't want to read the rest I don't want to find out that my favorite ship are siblings secretly and apparently it doesn't actually matter and I don't want it to turn into a piece that's just relationship drama and ooh love triangle yada 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 no i i'm just sticking with this happily ever after okay uh but yeah i really recommend this book it was so sweet i loved it i'm just not reading the rest of the series because it just i feel like it's gonna suck and ruin the entire book for me and i don't want this book to be ruined because again i really enjoyed this book and if this book gets ruined for me by the sequels i'm just gonna be really angry so yeah and then it was Matilda. Uh, I read this book with my mom when I was like four, which I have of course pretty much forgotten all about by now. I just know what happened. Um, I watched both the movie and the musical recently. Uh, the movie was good. The musical though, I, it was, the pacing was just really bad. And I just could not really focus on it. And I liked the songs, but I just couldn't focus on the story. Uh, but you're not here for a review on the musical, which just had bad pacing. You're here for the review on the book, and I did enjoy the book. It was nice, soft, sweet, everything you expect from a Matilda story if you've seen the two shows. Uh, it had all the plot points I knew would be coming. I liked all the characters, Matilda, Miss Honey, the Trunchable, even as a good character, I think, in her own way. Like, good character, not good person, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I will say I have always hated the parents, not because they're terrible people, although they are. More of a, I just hate the trope of this character's entire personality is being a, a terrible parental figure. That's just kind of done to me. But other than that, I really like this book. It's soft, it's soft, cute, sweet, whatever, etc., etc. It's Matilda. We, we all know the basic story of Matilda. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead and read it. And then it was Loveless by Alice Oseman. And this is just about a girl at college whose name I forgot. Who, because again, I'm just the worst of names. Uh, finding out that she's Arrow Ace at college. And, uh, this was also basic, basically fit the vibe of those romantic comedy books I was talking about. And to be fair, what I mean by that is they're not really, like, Romantic comedy is in the same way that a film would portray romantic comedy. They mostly just take place at school, like in school zones, and they have two characters falling a love the entire story. Yeah. Um, it was basically that, but without the romance aspect. Uh, for one, it takes place 90% at 
school. It's college, but it's technically a school. They're like dorms and stuff. Which isn't inherently a bad thing, although I don't really have I don't really have fun just reading about school settings. That's just me though, it's not inherently a problem. Um so this one I did also kind of pick up ju uh just because one I thought it'd be a little bit different. I didn't really realize it'd be basically one of those romantic comedy things, which again isn't bad. It's just not really my cup of tea, you know what I mean? Like I keep reading them. <laughs> But this is not my cup of tea, and I'm just torturing myself every time. Um, but yeah, also, a, like a year or two ago, I did think I was a romantic. Although now I'm questioning that again, and I think I might like girls. I don't know, it's all weird. Life is weird. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the story of Loveless. There's like side characters, and you know. There's like a B romance plot between uh, MC's roommate and her best friend. Uh, there's another side plot between MC kind of trying to get with her best friend, and they have they start a Shakespeare club. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It, I put it. I don't know. A, it's about an average story. You you guys probably wouldn't have a problem with it if you're into like romances taking place in college except for it's not really a romance although the b plot is a romance kind of has that same vibe though you know what i mean that that's yeah uh loveless but yeah i'll end this video here um i read six more books and i hope to post them all in one video soon um yeah uh here's all the art i made in this video so please tell me if after this month i should stop making these videos because I do enjoy talking about the things that I read and whatever. I like looking at things critically and I want to be an author. But also I feel like I might be very bad at it. And like you guys just really don't care. Because nobody actually watches this, these videos. You just tell me if I should stop. Or tell me if you want me to review other things. Or read on other things. Etc. Please tell me. Yeah. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Tell me my art is terrible. My voice is super annoying. Or tell me my voice isn't that annoying and my art is decent. I don't care. Have a good day. Bye.